Welcome back to Pixel Village and I'm Radha Krishnan. I woke up last morning to this fantastic notification from YouTube saying that our second video on mobile phone photography has hit the million mark. Well, I reached the office wanting to share it with the team. Of course, they also had gotten the notification and they were waiting for us and they all wanted to follow that up quickly with another video on mobile phone photography and the calling bell rang and surprise surprise a packet was delivered and there was a mobile phone inside well the note said that the company wished us to do a review of that particular phone and as you know we are not mobile phone people we are photography people hence uh, we thought we will do a mobile phone photography shoot like a pro 3 this time and when we went through the features of that phone, we were stunned by it. Well, you want to know which one it was? It's the all-new Oppo F11 Pro with an amazing 48 megapixel camera. All right? And it's powered by an amazing processor called the MediaTek Helio P70. Well, what Helio P70 is, something which we'll see later, but at this point, we'll worry about the camera and how to shoot effectively with this higher resolution camera. So let's get started. Hey Vishnu, hey, I'm doing a video on mobile phones. You want to come and be my model? Come. So, first thing first. If you remember the first video on Shoot Like a Pro, lens cleaning cloth, clean the lens. Second, go into the camera app, settings, and activate the three by three grid, okay? And also, since this camera is a very high resolution camera, make sure that you have activated the highest resolution. In this case, it's a 48 megapixel uh, uh, resolution. Okay, once that is done, your camera is ready. Also, make sure that the screen is set to a comfortable brightness so that you see what you're shooting very well, even in this bright light, because some screens are reflective and requires a little more brightness to see in bright daylight. Photography is about light, okay? So now understanding light and using that light to your advantage will make a whole lot of difference in the way you are photographing. And in this video, we are trying to do some portraits and see how we can use lights and also, like we said, how we can use the expert mode. Okay, now that's our source, sun. Okay, sun is hitting Vishnu on his face now. Good old ways, this is what a photographer is usually recommended to work with. The photographer stands facing the subject, the light hits from behind the photographer onto the face of the subject. Okay, so let's take a picture like that. All right, here he is. Ignore that shadow uh, for the time being. Okay, Vishnu, can you cross your hands? Right, nice. Okay, give me a nice warm smile. Okay, now this light is called the front light. Okay, now turn around this way. Okay. Now, if you look through, half of Vishnu's face is lit, okay? This is called a side light, okay? Cross your hands again. And I'm going to turn him around and keep him in a kind of a three-fourth angle so that uh, his, the dark side of the face also gets a little bit of light. Cross your hands again. Okay, turn a little way. Yeah, nice. Okay, turn this way a little. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna keep the sun completely behind Vishnu. Ready. Okay. Now, this is the time things start going a little tricky for a mobile phone photographer. Okay, move around a little this way, a little more. Okay, ready. Okay, now because the sun is hitting the lens directly, the camera is going to go crazy. So I want you to come and stand there. 
and I move into a shade so that the sun is uh, blocked from the lens. Now, this is called backlight. Okay, that light is around uh, Vishnu's shoulder. Let me take a shot. Now, if you want the rim light to be visible around Vishnu's head also, then I need a darker backdrop. So let me go and find a place uh, where I get this rim light, but the backdrop is dark enough so that I can see the rim clearly. Let's walk to that place, Vishnu. Yeah, let's go. Yes, nice. So now I found that place where uh, the background is dark enough so that I see this rim light. But now, like the previous occasion, the light is, or the sun is flaring the lens. So let me take a shot like this. And also show you what will happen if I cut this light. Okay, Aditya, can you come and cut this light? Okay, right. Can you see the light changing? So when you reduce the flare, lift that side up, please. Okay, see the same situation without too many corrections. I have a different image. It's nice and clear. Smile, please. Nice. So we saw the front light, side light, the squarish light, which is like the three-fourths light, and also the rim light. And uh, most of the time, the front light is not really flattering. Uh, the most interesting light to me is the three-fourths one. If you want to create a drama, use the completely split light, you know, from one side. And if you want to glamorize a shot, well, the rim light will work very well. So like I said, uh, my favorite is the 3 fourths light. Now what I'm going to show you is how we can improve upon that angle and that light. Okay, let's go back to that first position. And you come there. Stand there, take that light, uh, stand here Vishnu. So what I'm going to do is to introduce a diffusion in between, okay? By introducing the diffusion, I'm technically bringing the sun close to his face and see what happens. Okay, uh, Aditya, can you bring that diffusion material? Right, okay. So now it's the same light or rather the same sun when I introduce this uh, diffusion, the sun technically has come closer to Vishnu and see what happened to the shadows. The shadows have disappeared and uh, yeah, yeah, stay there. Okay, st shadows have disappeared. The shot has become more appealing. Okay, uh, a nice warm smile, Vishnu. Ah. Okay, now look at these two images. That's one, and this is the other. Okay, let me try and do a portrait shot also in it. Yeah, this is looking very nice. Okay. Very nice. Let me also shoot uh, one without the uh, diffuser uh, so that you see the difference. Okay, turn this way, turn, turn, yeah, okay, stay there. Okay, so look at these, uh, two shots, right? So it's a personal preference, but I would like to go with this one. It's very nice, clean, simple kind of shot. Now, you don't have to necessarily have that diffuser like a professional one. We have it, so we used it. You can also use a white cloth, a large enough cloth, get someone to hold it for you, and you will get a similar shot. So we saw how the direction of the sun can be used to our advantage and create different kind of portraits. Hey, thanks Vishnu. Bye. Okay, we're going to follow this video up with another one.
on mobile phone photography of course in which uh, we will demonstrate to you another way of improving your mobile phone photography by understanding the light better one important announcement we are delighted to tell you that pixel village now has a photography online education website here you will get to learn exactly what you need from some of the finest photographers and photography mentors in india they cover a wide range of genres and are available in a number of indian regional languages too so log on to www.pixelvillage.com and check out what is in offer for you we will be waiting for your feedbacks your comments your recommendations Bye for now.